Yo, 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 What up, everybody? It's yo, 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 the show. Saturday morning here on Vape Radio. Download that app if you have an Android. You're missing the boat if you don't have the Vape Radio Android app. So get it. Got lots of stuff to talk about this week. NVE Richmond's coming up. It's uh, next weekend. Got a couple of new devices to talk about. Got a new juice line to preview. That is fire. Got a... What's not a new juice line? It's a rebranding of a juice line. Got some new labels on one of my favorites. But let's start off with Ba-da-ba-da! the buffet. What do I got in front of me today? I am rocking in my hand right this second. Purge slam piece. Holy shit, is this mod great. With the Money Shot RDA. Now, this is a 30 millimeter cap. They come in brass and an Ultim. And it fits the Carnage deck. It comes with the Carnage deck as well. I got both. Needed the brass. Love the Ultim. And I feel like I love the mod so much, I'll probably get another slam piece down the road. Maybe one of the Cerakotes. Not the Copper. I'm not a huge fan of Copper. It's a lot of maintenance. But I'm definitely going to grab one of the Cerakotes. And, you know, so who knows? I figure I'll at least have another one. So I bought both, the Brass and the Ultim, Money Shot, and this is just a fantastic mod. It hits like a beast. I haven't even gotten the 21700 batteries yet. I'm running a 2700. Wow, it kicks ass. And I had the Warrior, the Gold Warrior on top. It's a Brass mod, and it looked fantastic, except there's a lot of under hang because that rda is 24 and the mod is 30 so the money shots a 30 millimeter cap that goes on the carnage deck and the mod looks just looks perfect right now i shined it up this morning and it is beast what do i got under the hood you ask i got what i always got my j boy coils running those aliens as I always do, around 0 0.1, 0 0.9, 0 0.1. I like to be in the little bit on the lower side. Nice warm uh, vape. So I got the slam piece and money shot on top, and I am running passion in that RDA. And I will talk about passion in just a few minutes. Because I got a new juice line to preview from ParadigmDistro.com. It's their latest rebranding. So it's got a new... The flavors are the same. Flavor names are the same. But it has a new look and a new name for the line. So they were nice enough to send it over for some preview. And I'll, I've tasted each one and I'll let you know what I think. I also got in front of me my MRN Missile. Stacked, 21700, got an Elite V2 on top with an Ultim cap that I just got this past week and I cannot remember what the site is because I would definitely give them a shout out. So next week I will tell you where you can get some badass Ultim caps for a few different RDAs, not a ton, but they do Ultim for the Sherman products. And some sleeves, and they, they just have a lot of really nice products. So I got the uh, MRN stacked missile, and I'm running Voodoo from EarthBountyEjuice.com, and that has a new look as well. They, when they put the warning labels on their label, they changed up the label a little bit, and it looks fantastic. And they also changed the White Rabbit label a little bit because I happen to have that next to it. 
and just notice that that has a little bit of a change. So that's kind of cool. Then I got a Purge Back to Basics V3 Copper. I'm running Red Skies in that from Cali Dreamline from PillarClouds.com. Check out PillarClouds.com. If you like fruits and creams, check out the Cali Dreams line. This one's a Strawberry Kiwi Lime Tropical Punch. And I am not, I can't stand fruit punch in general, but... I don't know. I love this juice. I, I can't I can't seem to put it down. Then I have two SQs. I got the evil SQ and I got a brass SQ. Uh, one's got a warrior on top. J Boy's under the hood. One has a drop on top with J Boy under the hood. Got those new 5050 drip tips from signaturetips.com. And I am running. In those two setups, Enigma, which is a berry candy flavor from ParadigmeDistro.com, and By the Roll, which is a pear donut from Chef's Recipe. And Chef's Recipe, everybody asks me where to get Chef's Recipe. KalamazooVaporShop.com. If you're in your local shop right now, ask them to get it. This line is fire. If you like desserts, you got to try Chef's Recipe. It's a dessert line created by an executive chef. So you got a professional palate made this juice. And they're dropping two more flavors that are in the oven right now cooking. What else do I have? I also have the Recurve Mod with a Recurve on top. I'm actually taking that Recurve off and putting a black blacked out warrior on top because i i like dual coil better uh, i don't i enjoy single coil but i'm a dual coil guy i i really i'm vaping 99 percent of the time i'm vaping dual coil i like the recurve i like the drop solo but i don't get it uh, it's not as satisfying a vape for me so i'm the dual coil man do I have anything else in front of me? I have my Mad Modern Mini with the Sherman V3 RTA on top. I don't even know what the heck is in that. Let me see. Oh, that's got... What is that? Oh, that's Survivor. Also in the Crucible line. When I try juice, I usually like to try it on an RDA and in a tank. Two totally different ways to vape and usually... You get a different flavor. Even though mostly I run RTAs, it's still a different flavor. I know if I grab the sub ohm tank, it would be even there would be even a bigger difference. But I don't ever use sub ohm tanks, except for mouth to lung setups. So I don't really have any. Also have the uh, Sherman Twenty Five sitting in front of me, juiced up, and I'll probably pop that on one of my other light bulb boxes Just get something different going and that ha what does that have in it now that has coil spill rkoi which is a strawberry champagne so yo 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 what up everybody what's on today's agenda first let's talk about what's coming up next week next weekend you got NVE Richmond. My opinion, the best conventions are the NVE conventions. NVE, they really know how to put on a convention. They get all the good vendors. They just do it right. They have advocacy panels, giveaways, sometimes a cloud comp. They, they know how to do it over at NVE. So to me... Those are always the best conventions of the year. Next week, you got NVE Richmond. And, of course, we'll be there all weekend long with live coverage sponsored by, in part, by Vapor42.com. So, Vapor42.com, show them some love. Get on there. Check out what they have to offer because... They are one of the sponsors 
for the vape radio broadcast at NVE Richmond. And I was taking a look at the vendor list and all the key players are going to be there. Everyone you want to see, all the gear you want to check out will be present at NVE. So if you are in the Richmond area and you want to check out a convention, never been to one before? If you're a vapor, you've never been to a convention, get your ass to a convention. Guaranteed, you will have an amazing time. You get deals, you get to see what's new, what's coming up on the horizon, what's just dropped, new gear, new flavors or rebranded flavors, stuff people have been taking out of their vaults that they registered but haven't put out yet. Tons and tons of product, gear, all sorts of fun. I think, uh, and I don't think, at NVE Richmond this year, they have Guar. A couple of the guys from Guar are coming down to sign autographs. I guess they have a juice line, so that I'm sure they'll probably give away some juice, sell some juice at a reduced price. So get yourself over to NVE in Richmond, Virginia, and if you can't get over there, check out Vape Radio next weekend. Vapor42.com is one of the sponsors for the live all-weekend broadcast from NVE Richmond. You got Rod, Pablo, Scotty, a whole bunch of Vape Radio personalities will be there on the air. Interviews, music, all sorts of stuff. So check it out. NVE Richmond live coverage next weekend. All right, so, I'm always talking about the new new, right? What is the new new this week? Well, I got my hands on something extremely cool. Not out yet. It has been shipped to reviewers, and, you know, I know a few of them. So, I got to preview it. It's called the Active Mod by Wizmet. If I was going to purchase this mod, I would use it as a mouth-to-lung device. It's got a built-in 2100 mod battery, LiPo battery. It goes up to 80 watts. It's in a kit with a sub-ohm tank called the Armor NS. Real nice flavor. I was hitting it in in mouth-to-lung mode, I, w- I guess you would call it, at about 15 watts, 14 watts. Flavor was there. The mod is waterproof and shockproof. But now here is the coolest thing about this mod. The mod's got a built-in Bluetooth speaker. So you can sync your cell phone and listen to music while you vape it. It actually sounds really fucking good. I was surprised how good it sounded. I figured it would sound like a little tiny, tinny box. But it has really good sound, pretty good bass response for such a small mod. So badass. I I think I'm going to have to get one just to set it up in mouth-to-lung mode and run it because it's just too fucking cool not to have one. Check it out when it hits the market. It's the Wizmec Active. And I don't know if they sell it as a kit. And also just the mod separately. But the mod that I saw was in a kit. It came with the Armor NS Plus sub-ohm tank. A couple coils. And I guess the wraps must have come with it too. The, the mod has a couple of silicone skins. Not wraps. Skins that come with it. I think it comes with it. Maybe the manufacturer sent the skins out to the reviewers. And they're selling them separately. I'm not positive. But... You know, you get to change the look of the mod. One thing I don't like about skins, I guess if you're running it with a tank and the tank doesn't leak, you're good to go. But I used to run um, an RX, what was it called? The one with the three batteries. I can't even remember what it was called anymore. The Wismec RX. And I, I used that. It was my everyday mod. I bought one of those silicone wraps for it. And if you're dripping and you over drip, the juice gets underneath the silicone wrap and 
it starts to like you know sit it sits there all day on your mod and gets nasty so i'm not a huge fan of those silicone covers that you can buy for your mod but they do make them for this new mod called the active by Wizpec. very cool also got another drop dead got the piano black this time was lucky enough to get a little package from Miss Amy, TVC's wife, and she sent me the Piano Black Drop Dead. Love it, Drop Dead. It will be, mark my words, one of the best RDAs of 2018. The end of the year, when they start talking about the best of the year, Drop Dead's going to be up there. Got to take a look at Mark Fagan, Vape and Fagan's new... RDA by AugVape called the BTFC, which stands for Bottom Top Flavor Clouds. I saw it, touched it, did not hit it. It wasn't built and wet. So I will, in the future, next week, the week after, I will let you know how that RDA performs. Looks pretty cool. Got another Warrior. Got the blue one this time. Love it. The blue is, it's such a cool blue because it's a metallic blue, not a solid blue. Warrior, right up there with the best right now. In my opinion, one of the best RDAs on the market right now. Easy to build, good juice capacity, amazing airflow, amazing flavor. If you have not gotten a Warrior, get yourself one. If you're, if you're into dripping... And you haven't bought a Warrior for 35 or 37 whatever they're retailing for, you're really missing out. Get yourself one as soon as you can. And do not have it yet. They're on the way. I cannot wait for this one. I am a huge fan of the Sherman products from Asylum Mods made by Imperial over in the U.K., I have uh, several RTAs. I have the 28 millimeter RDA. I have the 25 millimeter. A few of each. Love, love, love the Sherman products. They just dropped the Hilo. It's a 30 millimeter RTA. It looks badass. I hear it's fantastic. There's one problem with the Sherman tanks. When you take the, the top off to fill it, and you break the vacuum, when you screw the top back on, it pushes the air out through the bottom, and the juice leaks. It doesn't leak a ton, but it leaks every single time. And if you are an owner of a Sherman, you know it's going to leak. So once I fill it and I close it, I usually either blow into the RTA and get, get the juice out with a paper towel around the top. Or I let it sit on its side on a piece of paper towel and get all the excess juice out. And I've just become used to doing that because I have a bunch of different Germans and I love using it. The flavor's amazing. So I don't mind that it leaks a little bit. It's only a little bit and it's only when you refill it. They fix that. Supposedly there's this little notch in the top now underneath the top cap. And that notch keeps the vacuum so that the air doesn't rush through and start to leak. I don't know how he did it, but Tom O'Connell fixed the problem, supposedly. Should have the helos in the next couple of days, so hopefully next week I will let you know. I'll at least give you a, a first look at it. Because I never really talk about stuff unless I run it for four or five days. I like to, on, on an RDA or a tank, I like to put a couple different builds in it, see which is the best build for that tank or RDA. Juice, got to taste it for a couple days. I like to taste it at different times of the day, and I also like to taste it in a tank and on an RDA because it's usually a much, a mu it's usually a really different experience on in a tank as opposed to when you're dripping it dripping is everybody says it i agree you get the best flavor when you drip that's why squonking got so popular because it's almost the best of both worlds you get to drip but you don't have to 
physically drip into your RDA every time. You squonk from underneath. Wait a second, I gotta re-drip. A little more passion. All right, so, also this week, I got the latest rebranding from ParadigmDistro.com. The owners over there, Bill Wickstrom and Joanne Wilson, are very, very nice people. Bill is also big in advocacy. He's the Mississippi State Advocacy Association's president. And they also own a bunch of vape shops. Their latest rebranding is called Crucible. I saw the bottle. Gotta tell you, Bill, love that logo. I think the bottle looks so on point. I love the font. I like the logo. And it is the furthest thing from child appealing that you could possibly have. Paradigm, I know everybody out there has probably heard of the blacklist. Juice companies that don't do the right thing. Paradigm's on the white list. Those are the companies that do do the right thing. No IP theft, no child appealing labels, good products, good people doing the right thing. So I got this new rebranded line. I don't know what it was called before, but right now it's going to be called Crucible. Five flavors. Bill told me one of the flavors was out of the vault. His vault, whatever whatever his vault is, I'm sure he's got a bunch of flavors in there, the way he was talking. But the one he pulled out is my all day, every day, since they sent it to me about, they sent me that flavor about three weeks ago to try, and then I got the whole line about a week ago. Passion is a pink grapefruit guava that is so fucking awesome. It's different. It's sweet. It's a little tart. It's a little sweet. It's it's just so good. I vape it, literally vape it all day, every day. Can't put the shit down. Going through it like water. So that is called passion. They also have extinct. Not a big peach vape. But this is a peachy strawberry, and to me, it's what it is. It's really a strawberry with peach enhancement. So I'm actually enjoying that flavor because it's predominantly strawberry to me. Then you have Fear. That's a green apple blue ras. Love it. I'm a big fan of the green apple. The blue ras is light, and it's more on the finish. The green apple is tart and bold and just there for me. The carnage. Like it a lot. Really enjoyed it, but it's an ice. It's a watermelon ice, and I have to be in the mood for ice. So, yeah, I'm going to vape that carnage, the watermelon ice from Paradigm, but I'm not vaping that all day, every day. I'm not a big menthol vapor so yes that bottle will get killed for sure but not not an all day for me but the watermelon is like fresh perfect watermelon so if you like watermelon you like menthol that's your new all day and the killer killer i mean i couldn't believe how good this juice was survivor it's a butterscotch ice cream. And if you're a fan of Paradigm, these people know how to do ice cream. They do ice cream better than I've ever had ice cream before. Their Nilla Killer, which is vanilla wafers with vanilla ice cream, deserved to win Best in Show at Foxwoods this past year. It's just that good. It's one of the best flavors out there, in my opinion. So when... The people over at Paradigm tell me they got a new ice cream dropping. That's the first one I want to try. 
I opened up the box, saw the line, looked at the labels. I'm like, oh, man, this looks fucking awesome. And grabbed that butterscotch ice cream immediately. It is so on point. Delicious, creamy ice cream flavor. Perfect butterscotch. No sweetener. The best thing about Paradigm. No sweetener. Five days later, my cotton is still clear. Because no sweetener. Delicious, sweet, but no sweetener. How do you do it? I don't know. But they're masters over there. Check it out. It's dropping, I think, in about a week or so. It's called Crucible by ParadigmDistro.com. Five flavors must try this line. These are five flavors that must be tried by all. Guaranteed, you will like at least two of the five. Guaranteed. It's that good. And that's it. That's all I got for you this week. We talked gear. We talked juice. We talked coils. That's all I got. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Check out the replay Sunday nights, 7 p.m. I'm signing off. Yo, yo, yo. Peace.